Good morning. I just decided to go ahead and do a little uh, goat update. It's been a little over a year. This is our second batch of kids. Now we did things a little different this time because we didn't have a choice. We start hunting in late September. So my, my process is I wanna get all the goats out of our hunting area. And that's mainly for the dogs because they'll just create havoc as far as, you know, uh, keeping game out of the area that we're hunting and that kind of stuff. And so because of that, I made a decision based on the only choice I had. I wasn't able to get the babies in and cut the billies or anything. So we just let the, the billies from last year service the does. It was the wrong time. It was gonna make it where they started kidding in April, which is not what we want because we try to do things in sync with nature and nature is the deer and the deer tells us they need to be fawning or kidding in late May, early June, which would mean you put the billies in in January, if I'm thinking of that right. So we put them in in basically late September and they probably got the first breeding in in October. They started kidding in April, and we have had lots of issues with that in April out here on this acreage, you know, where they're just out here. Uh, we had issues with coyote kills. There's a doe in here that had, had triplets, and I mean, well, we had several triplets this year. That's one thing I did notice. We had more triplets in April. But as far as them making it on their own, it was more difficult. And I don't know why, if the coyotes were hungrier because maybe they were trying to feed their young, or they were just coming out of the winter and extremely hungry. Who knows, or was it coyotes? Uh, you know, I just, I can't tell you the answer to all that. All I can tell you is what happens at the end of the season, what we end up with. I've probably lost six or seven uh, nannies this spring. Uh, a couple trouble kidding. Uh, that's another factor that uh, you kind of expect. Yeah, there's lots of research in livestock and cattle. I shouldn't say livestock, but in cattle, that shows that uh, they'll have they'll have more issues in spring versus if they're calving in summer. So I would anticipate that the goats are going to be very similar. So uh, we've had some of those issues. Uh, lost we've lost just based on just what i'm looking at here and i know we see lots of kids but i mean we had pot loads of kids we've lost a bunch to predation to uh, nannies just going on uh who knows it's just been a really weird kidding season compared to last year when we did it in june so i'm saying we will be back on our june schedule uh, without a doubt that won't happen again and we've got all the fencing set up now where it shouldn't happen again. So we're still excited about the goats. They're so funny, they're so interesting, they're such a joy to come out here and watch. I mean, they jump up on their mom's back. It's just, it's so funny. But they are something else, they really are. So what I'm seeing is what you can probably see. I'm seeing a huge, diverse kid size, kid crop and age and all that stuff. So, you know, some of the billies may not have been old enough. I don't know, big enough, who knows? You just don't know. Or it may just be that it's not in sync with nature, so it's not the best time to breed them. So that's what we're dealing with now. The dogs are doing pretty good. Um, you know, the dogs, you can't expect, this is a thousand acres that they're in, one pasture. So, you know, when they start kidding and they start splitting up, which they still do that, you know, they'll fall back when they kid, or uh, they'll go on and they'll lose, a, they'll lose a baby, which is not good. Even with five dogs, six dogs out here, they can't cover all that. They just can't cover it. You know, most of the time the dogs would be with the biggest herd. Every now and then, especially that young dog, Sam, every now and then he'd be back with a group of nannies that maybe just had their babies. He would take care of business for the most part. 
so anyway, we're still we're still excited about it. Like I said, we're still uh, building our numbers. No idea what we have now. I'm I'm sure we have over 300, but uh, as far as an exact number, I don't know. You know, we should have 400. Uh, so it's just you know, that's just how it is. But you live and learn, and you adjust, and you observe, and then you adjust, and you do the best you can, and you hope you're doing it in sync with the nature in sync with how they were created to function in this environment and you go on so that's what we're doing something I have noticed is you see the pink tag on that goat right there the pink tags really just started kidding about two weeks ago the majority of them so they hit the second cycle with the breeding which you know it's their first time and they were a little younger so I could see that but if we would have waited until January they would have been right with the rest of them if somebody hasn't seen our, our goats before, we don't do anything to them. We don't trim their feet. We don't worm them. We don't feed them other than I'll bring a little corn with me when I come to give them a little bit of a treat just so I can get them. If we need to pin them, it really helps uh, pinning them. If you've seen our work in Spanish goats, that's, that's kind of how we got them in the pen. And it also keeps them kind of coming to me. So. so we give them just a little bit of corn, but other than that, we don't do any of the other stuff. Hey babies, they're coming over here and they're really working the brush. That's something I did notice in the spring is they really started working the brush a lot. They've got access to both, so they can go either way. But uh, when it hit spring, they really started working it. So I'm guessing the what they desire, there's more in that early growth uh, than in the later growth. So. I'm going to just ease in here a minute, see if I can see where they're headed. They're kind of headed down towards the bottom. Head of white. Yeah, yeah. Red is falling. I'm sure blue's out in front. This is a deer trail. Yeah, go to, go to, go to. I don't know if you can see them, but boy, they are just going to town on this stuff. Just to give you an idea, there's about 250 acres of this. We get almost zero utilization out of the cattle. Something spooked out of here. I see what it is. That helps a bunch. I was concerned the dogs weren't treating the pigs as a predator. And they are. Once they caught a whiff of them, they came barreling in here, but I was in here, so it kind of stopped them. So uh, that's good. That makes me feel better. <laughs> 